Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change your fuel filters. Yes, that's filters, there's two of them. In your 6.0 or 6.4 liter uh, Ford Power Stroke diesel. It's very simple to do. Uh, like I said, there are two filters. One mounted to the engine and one mounted to the uh, fuel lines between the engine and the fuel tank. So it's, like I said, very simple to do, very minimal tools needed, and something that should be done about every second oil change or 10 to 12,000 kilometers. Um, I'm not sure miles, but in Canada we go by kilometers, so every 10 to 12,000 kilometers, or like I say, every second oil change. So uh, let's get right to it. Okay, so as I said, um, very few tools needed. We're just gonna need a half inch ratchet, a half inch extension, and a 36 millimeter socket. This one here also happens to be for the IPR um, of the Ford 6 liter diesel. That one will work. If you don't have a 36 millimeter socket, you can also use a wrench or an adjustable crescent wrench. Just one quick thing I wanted to mention uh, before we start here is to always, always, always use, and I cannot stress this enough, use OEM Ford Motocraft filters, both oil and fuel filters. Um, they're designed for these trucks. These trucks are very temperamental uh, when it comes to filtering oil and fuel and stuff and it can really cause damage and cause grief too if you do not use Ford filters. There's a ton of videos on YouTube explaining why exactly but I can just not stress enough. It is worth the cost, a uh, little few extra bucks to get Ford OEM filters uh, in the long run. It'll definitely uh, increase the life of your vehicle and save you from grief and hassle in the future when your vehicle does break down. So the part number uh, for these fuel filters is FD4616. That's the OEM part number, Ford part number for these fuel filters. Okay, first thing we got to do here, I'm probably out of focus for you guys, that's because I got the truck in focus. Um, first thing we got to do here is pop the hood, like so. And to change the fuel filter that's attached to the engine, it's the simplest one to change. It's right on top beside the fuel filter or the oil filter. I'll show you that now. Okay, so here we are at the top of the engine. Right there is the oil filter, and right down there, that's the fuel filter right beside it. So you can see it's a half inch hole right on top there. To take that cap off. It's right behind this one CAC tube. Uh, right in front of the air filter where it goes into the turbo. So right there, that's where it is. Okay, I know you guys are kind of far away, but I got my GoPro set up here so you will be able to see close up. Um, you're going to need your uh, half inch ratcheting extension. It just slips right in the top of the uh, fuel filter cap. And it takes a little bit of force, but you should be able to break it free pretty easily. And then just turn it loose. So, so that comes right off, pull the cap off, put it aside, and uh, take the filter out. Now pay attention to the way it goes in because you have to put the new one in the same way. And be careful because this is full of diesel fuel, so just let it, let it drain off, like so. Try not to get it all over the engine. Just let it drain off. Take your new one, put it in the same way. It just slips right in. Takes a little bit of uh, wiggling it around to get it in. But once it's in, just like that. Take your cap, screw it back on, tighten it up, and you're done. That's all you need to do for the um, engine mounted fuel filter change. 
Okay, now we're going to move on to the fuel filter that's between the gas tank and the engine, which is right here. This is the driver side frame rail. There's the tire. It's the bottom of the door right there. If you come up to the frame rail, there's the drive shaft, front drive shaft. It's right behind the front drive shaft, right here. Right here, that's your um, fuel water separator uh, plug. Um, but what we're going to do is take this cap off and put the fuel filter in that way. Okay, so we start by loosening the cap. This one here is going to be the hardest one to break loose because they usually get all gummed up with dirt and stuff from being under the truck. Once you got it broken loose though, it usually comes pretty easy. Watch out as it starts to come loose because oil, I mean, uh, fuel and water will come out of it. So just have a drain pan handy. Okay. As you can see, it's starting to drip. Okay, I know it's going to be tough for you guys to see, but all you got to do, once the cap is off, just take and this just twists right out like so okay. just like that okay guys now that we've got this cap off what we got to do is change this o-ring on it now it comes with a new o-ring so all you gotta do is take a pick or even your fingers and just slide the old o-ring off and take the new one which I have oiled and slide it on like so Rub the oil in, and then just wipe off the bottom of the cap from any excess oil or anything like that. And you're good to reinstall it. Okay, now to install the new one, same thing, just put it in, and turn it, tighten it up. It's the exact opposite of taking it out, tighten it up. Oops. And once it's all tightened up, put the cap back on. Once you got the filter back on, you need to put the cap back on and just start tightening it up. You can do some by hand, but once it gets too tight, then you'll have to do the rest with your socket and ratchet. Okay guys, well that's about it when it comes to changing the fuel filters on your uh, 6 liter or 6.4 liter diesel. Very simple to do. Um, sorry about filming the underneath uh, filter between the tank and the engine. It's kind of hard filming under there and trying to work and fuel is dripping all over you and stuff like that so I did my best um, but it's very self-explanatory take the cap off take the old filter out um, put the new filter and put the new o-ring on the cap put the cap back on tighten it up and you're done one thing you got to do though uh, before you just go and jump in and start your vehicle is to prime the fuel system so to do that all you got to do is to put the key in the ignition turn it so the glow plugs come on um, into the on position without starting it, uh, leave it for 20 seconds, turn the key off, turn it back on, leave it for 20 seconds, turn it off, turn the key back on, leave it for 20 seconds. Do that four or five times, uh, up to six times just to be safe, just to prime the fuel system. Some people say you don't have to do that and because it's a self bleeding system no, there will be no air in it and stuff like that. I do it just to be safe, to, pre uh, to prevent any issues or any air in the system. It's just a safety precaution you can do that takes maybe a minute, a minute and a half at most. Anyway guys, 
Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys learned how to do that. Uh, please subscribe and uh, comment on my videos, like my videos, and I'll try to do my best to keep pumping more out for you guys. Anyway, hope you guys liked it and see you in the next video.